Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new, my name is Jahan, and this is going to be a reading that is going to be in reference to change, where we're going to take a look at your energies, we're going to really tap in and see what's to come for your sign, any vital messages, warnings, advice, good news, surprises. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you stumble upon this and watch it will be the perfect time for you to see it. With that in mind, please remember that readings are general, so just take whatever resonates and leave the rest. I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been leaving me love and kind comments, subscribing and liking and overall supporting. May the karma return a thousandfold. And if you would like a personal reading much like this, but more in depth, check out www.jahantaroshop.com. And I'm also Jahan Tarot Shop on Etsy. But without further ado, here is your reading. Enjoy. Oh, before I forget, this is a new addition to the channel, the Numinous Astro Deck. I'm really excited to play around with these. And I also have a list of all of the other cards that I use down below in case you're curious, because I know a lot of people like to inquire. So um, I'm totally like new when it comes to astrology. So I got this specifically to help me learn astrology. So I'm super excited. But like I said, without further ado, let's jump right into your reading. Enjoy. Sagittarius the Voyager, enthusiastic, philosophical, independent, generous, ethical, seeking, happy-go-lucky, adventurous, honest, bareback, unbridled, experimental, lucky, boundless, traveling, risk-taking, tactless, and self-righteous. Ooh, I see flights. Sagittarius, is some of y'all getting flued out? <laughs> Let me stop. But we're going to take a look at where Sagittarius will experience the most change. So I'm going to ask Universe, Angel, Spirit, Creator of all things, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Ashe, please show me which area of life Sagittarius will experience the most change. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, will would they experience the most change? Feel free to pass uh, to fast forward the shuffling but i'm just reading on spirit to give me a jumper or flyer for sagittarius sun moon and rising as to which area of life they will experience the most change i need one card spirit one card for sagittarius sun moon and rising What's to come for them? How can they improve their quality? Oh, thank you. We got it. Thank you, Spirit. Because for some signs, I legit had to shuffle for two to three minutes. I'm like, dang. Dang, Spirit. So let's see. Your third house, your perceptions are changing. Speech, thought, social media, excursion, dating, siblings, research, street life, circulation, discussion, surroundings, and sociability. So Sagittarius, moving forward from whenever you see this, remember these are timeless readings, so you'll see this at the right time. I see you guys having a shift in your perceptions. A lot of you guys will start to see life through a different perspective. Some of you might be social media influencers or you might have, you might be trying to build your social media. I see you guys with this vintage camera and the sneakers. Maybe you guys might be doing some sort of photo shoots. I see you guys doing a lot of sightseeing taking a lot of pictures for the gram for some some of you might be writers or speakers on social media so you might have like a blog or you might have YouTube where you do research and uh, kind of discuss your findings or spirit is urging you to do that 
we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, the Queen of Swords uh, with the Swords energy speaks of your thoughts and your speech, communication, ling linguistics, language. So definitely, this, if you're watching this, uh, Sagittarius, I'm picking up your someone. Whether you know it or not, you might have a niche for writing, for speaking, public speaking. I get the uh, sense that for some of you, your, your perception on everything or on certain topics are going to change so much so or you're going to have this epiphany to where you're going to want to express or you know how you feel your opinion your perspective to others you, a, a ton of cards fell out so i don't even have to shuffle that deck anymore we have the empress creativity abundance looking good feeling good some of you, i get the sense that you might be changing your wardrobe again some of you might be getting ready or doing costumes or wardrobe changes for pictures because look at that vintage camera type thing so some of you this is for a project and in, in her hand it kind of looks like an apple or pomegranate or whatever it looks like like a fruit it looks like she's holding something of value so i get the sense that some of you might be working on something of value with this eight of wands it's something that's keeping you busy i see a lot of uh reciprocal communication back and forth for some of you i even see love cupid's arrows some of you I see international travel, air flight, movement. Some of you this will be within eight days or eight weeks from seeing this. Some of you the tower card. Again, like I said, some of you have received some sort of major, major epiphany in reference to your perception. If not already, it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. So brace yourself. With the five of wands, maybe some of you this is going to cause conflict or this is coming in after a time of conflict where you're going to start realizing things. Whether it's literally conflict with other people or self inner conflict maybe some of you have been battling certain ideologies in your head for uh, quite some time or certain you know things in your head in reference to yourself in the world or your perception of other people or whatever it is i get the sense that with this tower card something that was built on a faulty foundation is going to come crumbling down but it's going to serve as a blessing in disguise this tower card energy is going to come to destruct any ne negative energy that has left you stagnant some of you, your perception and your mindset is what's left you stagnant and has hindered or stunted your growth so this tower card is coming in to give you an epiphany so that you can move forward in life so that with the page of cups you can be more open to opportunities spirit is want wanting you to be more optimistic some of you are pessimists all you do is complain it's amazing how like you can i can give like I'll see a good reading, like literally, like the reading. I'm not like, honestly, if I see things that you should watch out for, I'll let you know. Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat things, you know what I mean? But like, some of these readings are good, but people still complain. All they want to do is complain. Instead of using that energy to complain and to wonder or think about what's going to go wrong, think about what's going to go right. You have a choice every day to wake up in the morning to tackle the day with positivity. Like, literally, that it really works sometimes wealth isn't just about hard work wealth building wealth is a mindset and spirit is wanting you to be more optimistic which i don't even have to go into details because spirit is saying you will definitely if not already have not realized this moving forward you're going to get that epiphany for sure for sure because look we have the magician some of you have realized how the law of attraction works you finally figured it out and you figured out that your thoughts create things and you figured out how to create your own reality with this magician card and so you're going to be very pleased moving forward with the nine of cups this is wish fulfillment and dreams coming true with the full card you guys are embarking on a journey of self-discovery some of you whatever you've been able to manifest will enable you to be able to travel like literally physically so again with this plane and again eight of wands more air travel some of you literally you're going backpacking some of you might have your stick that's funny that you saw someone in the airport literally with like a stick in a sack but for real some of you are taking a leap of faith after a time of maybe you being scared of traveling or leaving your comfort zone he's he's doing it like he's not even looking like one of his legs is over the cliff for crying out loud so you guys are taking a leap of faith after being indecisive and being blocked off and not knowing what you want to do or not seeing what it is that you need to see some of you, this epiphany might hit you within the next two weeks from seeing this. But with the Knight of Pentacles, it's going to bring you good, some good news in reference to your finances. Some of you, promotions. Some of you, whatever you've been giving your sweat, blood, and tears to is going to bring you good outcomes. Good news in reference to your finances, a financial increase. But again, this is something that won't come overnight. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. So this might take a little while. The Knight of Pentacles sometimes to me represents like an engineer, a carpenter, or someone who overall is really good with their hands. So definitely if you're, uh, if you, whatever project you've been giving your time and energy to, I see it bringing you profit and you being very pleased. Because again, we have the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Finally getting what, what it is that you've been wanting. But let's get more clarifiers. Some of you, after this shift in your perception with the Queen of Swords, you're going to start cutting people off. Like literally, you're going to be like, you know, me and you... You know, you're a cool person and all, but I just feel like our views are totally different and I just don't see a compatibility in this friendship. So I'm, I can't hang out, sorry. And like, I, for real, for real, see, I see you being that blunt for some, like with the Queen of Swords, she doesn't play. She knows what she wants. She doesn't, she does, some, she, she'll give you an explanation if she wants, <laughs> okay? Like she doesn't care. If you're on some BS, you're getting cut off, period, period. She doesn't care. So I see you guys uh, with this change, shifting your perception. Maybe you're going to start to see people in situations for who and truly what they for what they really are. You're going to be like, you know what, you? I never really mess with you anyways. Because that one time this happened, you didn't even defend me. Or I heard you were talking about me anyways. I just never really said anything. So I'm not going to give you my time and energy anymore. Some of you are cutting off people that drain you. Narcissists, energy vampires people that want to give you snide comments pessimists so if you're not a pessimist yourself that's changing your mindset i see you cutting these type of people are uh from a, off from around you because the kind of if you you know if you surround yourself with nine uh, ten losers i mean nine losers you're bound to be the tenth one you know P company and people you keep around you is like an anchor they can hold you down so or keep you stuck and stagnant some people never want to see you progress, progressing past them. Then it's an issue. So I'll go, you guys are going to start realizing that. Let me see what's underneath the Queen of Swords. Yep, the Page of Wands. So some of you guys are getting into this very adventurous energy. I see invitations and a lot of traveling. Some of you might be visiting ancient ruins or a lot of touristy spots all around the world. Because again, I saw, you know, international travel for you. Some of you might be into graffiti and tag art and synth wave and that whole urban aesthetic. But let's get more clarifiers for Sagittarius the Voyager. That whole street life, street urban where. Some of you are going to start realize, uh, kind of being more in the present. Like realizing things in your surroundings, observing your surroundings. Some of you might work with people. You might like like do some sort of social work. Marriage. CM initials for some. This always represents the spring or summertime. But some of you might be going to a wedding or some of you literally might be getting married or entering into some sort of agreement or partnership. And again, we have community. So... Some of you, again, what might be attending a wedding in your community where there's going to be a lot of friends, loved ones, and so your supporters. Or some of you are going into partnership with like some sort of community, like maybe some of you do some sort of community, social work, work with people, volunteer work. I'm even hearing tour guides. Maybe some of you might go to tour on a tour or might be a tour guide yourself or work in the tourism industry some of you 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 quite frankly didn't even know what it is you want you've been wanting to do or what it is that you really have a passion for and i get the sense that finally you're going to get an epiphany and figure out what it is exactly you want to do shuttle some of you might be sneaker heads too the sneakers we have distant horizons and unexpected income so some of you guys, definitely, I see travel because that's like a ship in the sky, literally. So I see, again, more air travel. We have different flags. So some of you are going or dealing with people from different countries with the different flags. Some of you might be into sports with the sneakers and the flags, the teams. So different that, that can be representative of different teams. But I get the sense that whatever it is that you've been hoping, dreaming, and aspiring to will bring you some sort of unexpected income especially if it's like something that's creative or in an uh like maybe a hobby like maybe something you just do for fun you know 
Maybe it's something you're really good at and it'll bring you some sort of money. This can also represent money coming in. Not a, super, not a lot, but maybe like, you know, the balance that the electric company owed you that you overpaid. So your balance that got lost in the mail or maybe your balance from your, uh, your um, student loan, you know, maybe your refund check. I don't know. Just r little random things. Maybe back pay from an old job. Maybe they forget. Or maybe your job. Maybe their system was down, so they forgot to give you some extra hours because you got, you forgot to clock in. So they're giving you back pay from that, and you totally forgot about it. And you check your account, and it's there. You know, s things like that. Maybe you get a scratch card, and you win thirty bucks. You win twenty bucks. Someone that owed you, you totally forgot. Like, hey, here's that money for gas the other day. I know you didn't ask me for gas money, but I just wanted to help help out. You know, stuff like that. Some of you with siblings, your siblings are highlighted. Some of you, you might be traveling with your siblings. I also see dating for some. Some of you are, will end up dating and meeting someone and you, you, like you guys will fall in love really fast. You meet someone, you guys will fall in love really fast and it will like knock your socks off. And it's going to be something that you've been hoping and wanting. If you have some sort of song or something, it looks like something is circulating. Something is going in, uh, something about circulation. So maybe a story that's been circulating, you might do your own take on it. Do a write-up or like a, a video on it or something. Especially if you give some sort of commentary. We have mature man and official person. We have CM initials for some. Some of you might be dealing with someone who's very philosophical, has a lot of world knowledge. This always, when I see this, it obviously it's Africa. This is where I grew up. I grew up in Ghana, right there. <laughs> um, some of you, you read a lot. Like when it comes to books, like you don't play and you have a spirit is saying that you need to have some self-restraint when it comes to whatever project it is. Take it seriously. And if you take it seriously, it'll bring you a lot of honor and a lot of respect. Like it'll, it'll literally change your status quo. It'll like change your life. Literally, whatever it is that me, even if it's a hobby, whatever it is, if you see that is giving you a little bit of money or a little bit of people are like complimenting you, put more energy into it. For instance, like when I started, um, reading tarot cards as soon as i figured out you know i was really good at it i started practicing more you know and learning more and using my intuition more and i you just keep getting better so spirit is saying whatever it is that you're good at just keep practicing it'll end up changing your life but this is what i'm picking up for you guys make sure you guys click the bell and subscribe and you guys will see me in my next video infinite 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 blessings bye sagittarius